Peace and love, everybody. It's your girl, Coco Kitten Bruja here, and I am back with today's love message. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. <clears throat> Whether you're single or not, practice self-love today above all else. Um, but, you know, we're just going to get right on into it um, using a couple of different decks today. And um, let's see what our love message is today. And of course, yesterday's Valentine's Day, but uh, whenever this video sees, meets you is when you need to see the message, all right? Let's get started. If you guys want to do some breath work while I shuffle, deep breaths in, bringing in high, higher vibrating energy, love, light, positivity, prosperity, all of that fun woo woo stuff and we are exhaling uh self-doubt exhaling uh negative thinking all that stuff y'all know what it is y'all know what it is all right I'm hearing some of y'all is y'all just running out today to get some candy and I'm not mad at that but you might want to wait until this weekend when it's cheaper that's what I'll be doing <laughs> give me the candy when it's 50% off when they putting out the St. Patrick's Day stuff you know anyway let's let's get going with these cards today I'm hearing contemplate your reality, whether that be with the person you with right now, whether that be with yourself, contemplate your reality. Like, what do you want your reality to look like? Does it involve the person you with? It may not. If it don't, child, you got some, you got some questions you need to ask yourself. For those of you who are either happy or... Well, happy and single or happy and in a relationship, because you can't be both. Uh, contemplate the reality you want. Where, where do you find yourself, right? All right. Let's get started. No jumpers. We're starting off with the Eight of Pentacles. I want to let you guys know I was testing out the lighting and stuff. This was the very first card I pulled out. So even after all of that shoveling, shoveling shuffling the eight of pentacles is very strong today self-mastery right and i feel like this goes hand in hand with you know contemplating your reality what can you what reality are you drawing what reality are you drawing out right there right contemplate your reality where can you have more self-mastery queen of cups the magician the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Boy, Spirit, no, today is love day. Bottom of the deck being the King of Wands. Lots of emotions flowing today for whatever reason, right? Now, we know the Knight of Cups has a reputation of being a fuckboy. But, but the Knight of Cups have, he has some redeeming qualities to him, you know? <clears throat> some of us are with some very evolved Knight of Cups, right? But when we have all of these emotions, it's 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 love day, right? But at the same time, I feel like we should all make sure we're not getting caught up by the falsehood of love day. And I'm not about to go on the, uh, like an anti-Valentine's Day rant or anything like that, but... Sometimes we get so caught up in, well, what did you buy me or what did you do for me instead of how do you make me feel? Am I happy? You know, that kind of situation. So like, I feel like there's a lot of cups energy here because it's also like, hey, lots of emotions. Make sure the emotions are coming from the right place, especially since you got the queen and the knight, because we all know the knight protects the queen. 
But at the same time, the, the queen has to have discernment, right? Just in case if what this knight is talking about seems too good to be true. So for some of you, make sure you're not getting caught up in, yeah, he, he cheated on me last week, but do you see this teddy bear? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, make sure we're not getting short-sighted. We don't have the, the rose-colored heart-shaped glasses on, right? Um, for a lot of us, while this might not be our love year, uh, our love day, um, I do see love in the forecast, this Ace of Cups, this new sense of love, this new um, being open to new love. Um, and some of you are just going to have a deeper understanding of self-love. Um, sometimes when we watch the world have what we want, uh, there's two routes you can take. You can be jealous, you can be bitter about it, and, and really sit in that negative ideology of woe is me, why can't I find somebody? Or you can take that energy and say, you know what? I see great examples of what I could have. And I see great examples of what I want to start manifesting. And for some of you, you're going to do just that. You're going to see, you know, as you're scrolling. Excuse me, guys. I need to take a sip of water. You're going to see that while other people are experiencing all of these amazing things today, that those are things that you can start kind of writing down, what does my love look like? It looks like somebody who can do this. It looks like somebody who makes me feel like this. Everything around us is energy. And we can either use that energy to our advantage or we can use that energy to keep us in a place we don't want to be. And it feels like I'm saying a lot of fragments and sentences, but they're all saying roughly the same thing. Use the energy of today and use it to manifest what you want. If you don't have the love that you want, use all of this energy that you're getting from scrolling social media, hearing about things that your friends are experiencing. Harness that energy and use it to your benefit right? That's where this magician card comes in. Use the energy. You hold the wand. Take all of that and turn it into what you want. Whether it's through mentalism, whether it's through conjuring, ritual work, whatever, sigils, however your magic works, use the energy of today, no matter what your relationship status is and turn it into food for your manifestations, right? King of Wands, bottom of the deck. I feel like he understands that assignment, right? He's using that energy as fire, as passion to, to sit on this throne and, and, and rule over his kingdom, his reality, right? We just need to do the same thing. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna get another tarot deck and just pull a couple of cards and then we'll wrap it up with an oracle card. But I want you guys to really think about, and for those of you who might feel some kind of way about it being Valentine's Day and either your partner's not doing enough for you or you're single, either way, use the energy of this day to push your manifestations forward. By the way, both of these tarot decks were made by Black creators because it is Black History Month. And that's how we get down over here. Unfortunately, I believe this unicorn deck that I'm about to use is discontinued. However, the Black Femme Tarot is available. 
Just look up the Black Femme Tarot. All right. Oh, now look at that. What did I say? The devil popped right out. Do not be tempted to get into a victim mindset today. Do not get tempted into getting caught up in the thrill of today and you start ignoring red flags. Don't surrender to the bullshit, right? Right off the top. And honestly, I really love this deck. What does it say? You know you like it. <laughs> I love that deck. If you want to see the full deck, I'm pretty sure I did a review on it. Um, I will try to remember to tag it in the description below. But again, don't get caught up. There's so many elements to this day that makes it very easy for people to kind of sink into sadness, sink into depression. Use the energy for your benefit, guys. Use it to your benefit. Queen of Pentacles. Now, y'all know, Queen of Pentacles, that's, that's my jam. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, she knows how to take things and she makes it grow. She is the gardener. She knows how to cultivate and, and take seeds and make them grow into, well, typically, the Queen of Pentacles. You'll see gardens and you'll see the, um, the queen in, in a beautiful garden. And... I feel like this is what I'm saying, like take the seeds, take the energy of today and fuel it, whether it's for love, whether it's for opulence, whether it's for a job, use the energy of today and push your manifestations forward. Use the seeds of today to grow what you want to grow, right? Last card, the fool. <laughs> Don't be one. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the five of swords. Now, again, you can look at the fool as two different ways. Don't be one. Also, it's okay to take that leap, right? Take the leap and say, what can it hurt to use this energy? What can it hurt to, to work my manifestations in a way where all I'm doing is, is, is harnessing the energy around me? Right now, the five of swords. For those of you who are, you know, feeling away today. I just want to ask, what is this energy getting you? What are you getting out of feeling the way that you do? And I know that might seem like a very harsh question. Um, but I want you to really think about it. I uh, recently had a situation where I realized that I was healed from something because I could no longer use that energy to make me sadder than what I already was. You know how you're in situations where you feel sad, but you feel like you need to be sadder. So like you turn on some sad music or you start thinking about other things that make you sad in order to push you deeper into the sadness. And I tried to tap into energy that I healed from and the energy just would not allow it to happen. And I say that to say the moment I realized I couldn't force myself to be sadder, I had to ask myself, what am I getting out of this? What am I getting out of being sad right now? And it kind of forced me to dig myself up out of that situation, out of that moment of sadness because there, was a, there wasn't a point to it. So ask yourself, what is the point of the energy that I'm sitting in right now? What is the point of it, right? Let's wrap this up with the oracle. Now, this is a tried and true oracle that if you've been here for a while, you know is one of my go-tos. It is not created by a black creator, but that's all right. All right, let's see what comes out. I 
Oh, spirit is quiet today. I haven't heard. I got one jump right all of these texts. All right. Our card is the man holding a heart. Boy, let me tell you. Spirit knows that it's love day. And then the bottom of the deck is a woman holding a coin. Let's talk about it. Listen. <clears throat> this woman holding this coin, that's the queen of pentacles. Right? This man holding his heart, that's the knight of cups. I want y'all to understand that you guys are going to fall into one of these into one of these cards. And that's okay. You might be in one of these cards trying to get to the other. Totally fine. But at the end of the day, these these people aren't on the same card. They're they're each on their own individual cards, their own individual people. And I want to go back and drive home the need for self-love, right? And of course, everybody talks about self-love and some of y'all might be tired of hearing about self-love, but nothing will propel your life forward more than having a deep sense of self and a deep sense of self-love, okay? Um, I want you guys, your, your assignment for today is just take five minutes and be selfish. Be selfish as hell with yourself for five. Now, whatever that looked like, be, whatever that looked like for five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I was this close to doing a boudoir reading for today, <laughs> but I want my channel to stay monetized. Um, whatever that five minutes looked like. I want y'all to take some time and just be selfish. Fuck whatever today is. Be about yourself for just five minutes today. Whether that means letting the kids run around while you enjoy a Snickers bar. Whether that means, you know, putting your phone on D&D, not scrolling. Just so you can communicate within yourself. Whatever that, or taking five minutes to look at social media because you've been so busy helping everybody else, right? Take five minutes and be selfish today. Love yourself. Love who you are, who you were, and who you're going to be, all right? I love y'all. I'm rooting for y'all. And until next time, peace.